Hi everyone. This is a quick video aimed at introducing scatter diagrams and trend lines. We speak briefly about this now because in the next sections of your work you will meet this concept again. And when you do so, we will give it more detail. Scatter diagrams or scatter plots show relationship among numeric values in different data series. They are commonly used to display and compare numerical values in this data series. To illustrate how one can actually create a scatter plot, we will consider this hypothetical data set, which consists of the age of males and the age of females in community A. How you would create a scatter plot is you would select your data set, your whole data set, and then click on the insert tab and click on the scatter icon and then click on the scatter with only markers. There you go, you have your scatter plot. Of course, on your X axis, you will have the male ages as well. And then on your Y axis, you will have the female axis, like I showed you in the previous videos on bar chart, you can also format your scatter chart. And how you would do that, you would give it a tightly, say scatter plot of um, male and female age in community in community a and then also you would also want to say label your x's your x-axis and your y-axis as i showed you in the previous video now we can see from the scatter plot already that there is some sort of a positive relationship between the age of males and females and the best way to actually see that is by actually fitting a trend line into your scatter plot. One way of doing that is actually by on the chart layouts, you can already go and choose. There are different options. You can already choose the one that just fits the trend line or the one that fits the trend line and actually gives you the equation of the trend line. Let's pick that one. There you go. We have it. And we can already copy the equation of the trend line and paste it here so that we can see it's already giving us how the line looks. And of course, it confirms what we had previously noted that there is some sort of positive relationship in the male age and the female age. Another way that you can actually fit the trend line is by actually selecting your data points and uh, clicking and you have the drop down and of course you click on add trend line i hope this was very helpful and we will discuss this further in the next coming videos thank you very much